151 pounds. He's 173 centimeters tall. And they'll be facing Saul Alvarez, 170. So here comes Saul Alvarez. Are we looking at Mexico's next? So here is 20-year-old. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. In the red corner, and now introduce. These two have certainly talked the talk. Now they've got to walk the walk. It's a privilege and an honor to be here. I feel so, so lucky to be sat here talking about something I love. These two have certainly... We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Both men step back for just a moment. Canelo just big heavy blow and Saul is down. This fighter continues to show how much heart he's got, but the corner may have to intervene here. Hard. He's up. I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get... We've never seen Canelo in this sort of trouble. And it appears the onslaught is... Canelo Alvarez just... So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. That is a show of character. When you're put down, your eagle's hurt, your cheeks hurt, your body's hurting, and you've got to get up, suck it up, and think right, I'm back in the game again. It's so, so hard for a fighter. Lucky that hook didn't score. Very close right. Both men promised to knock their opponent down, and they were right in that round. Sometimes you talk about drawing first blood. What does that tell you? And there's the bell to start the round. Both fighters went to the canvas last round. What are we going to see here? That is showing the fitness. That is showing the stamina. That is showing the hard work done in the gym. If you can get knocked down and get back up and knock your opponent down, they've got it. You can really feel the buzz in the air tonight. So much hype here in this arena. This is not just hype. We are in for something special tonight. What an arena. What an atmosphere. What a build-up. He's caught him there with the left hook. Looking to land the hook. Nice hook there. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. This counter pressure is going to wait for you to move first, and then we'll strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. If you're fighting a counter puncher, you've got to dummy a shot. Make them react from that, then react then. I know it's hard to think that way, but counter punchers, they're watching you, watching your every move, that every twitch. Good defense on that left hook. Catch and shoot. Just misses with that uppercut. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. seemed like
quite an eternity for them. They ring the bell, and here we go. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on you. And that's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. The counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. Counter punches, my favorite <laughs> kind of fighter. A good counter puncher. Right. The people that make a history of our sport. 